my dear friends we are coming to a very important topic cns depressant and in cns depressant the first topic is alcohol so now we are coming to important terminology what is chloral hydrate chloral hydrate is dry wine or it is also known as knockout drops knockout drops the combination of chloral hydrate with alcohol we use a word mikifin now we have many types of alcohol like ethanol like methanol like isopropyl alcohol the most potent is this one this one friends i'll discuss ethanol i'll discuss ethanol everyone knows that if female and male if we are taking same amount of alcohol male and female are taking same amount of alcohol the concentration of alcohol in female it would be high the blood concentration of female would be high what is the reason of this in female the alcohol metabolizing enzyme in female the alcohol metabolizing enzyme is comparatively less very important concept now my dear friend the ethanol is maximum absorbed from small intestine maximum 80% of the ethanol absorbed from the small intestine the metabolism rate the metabolism rate of ethanol is 15 mg percentage per hour and everyone knows that ethanol follow zero order kinetics ethanol follows zero order kinetics and sometime you can get a question what amount of alcohol or ethanol present in absolute alcohol in absolute alcohol the ethanol concentration is 99.95% rectified spirit very important it is 90% denaturated spirit it is again 95% methylated spirit again 95% and 100% proof alcohol it contain 50% ethanol these are the ethanol concentration and my dear friend you can get one more important concept if your blood ethanol is 1 this is a factor if blood ethanol is 1 the urine would be 1.3 vitreous would be 1.2 csf cerebrospinal fluid would be 1.12 1.12 alveolar air alveolar air 0.0021 and observe by this alveolar air concentration we can decide the blood concentration and this is based on henry law and we use a instrument for this this is known as bread analyzer 
which is also known as drunkometer. By alveolar air, we can decide the blood concentration. And in this, we use infrared rays. So this is another very important concept. By alveolar air, we can decide the blood concentration by using Henry law. Henry law. Now, my dear friends, your body alcohol concentration increases. How your blood alcohol increases while you are using blood alcohol increases while you are using the carbonated drinks because in carbonated drink, drinks the surface area of the particle increases so that will lead more absorption the empty stomach very important warm drink even after gastrectomy even after gastrectomy that will increase the absorption of blood ethanol and we most of the like whiskey vodka these have the 40 to 50 percent alcohol concentration what is arec Arec is by distillation of palm, rice or jaggery. It is prepared from the distillation of palm, rice and jaggery and it has 40 to 50% ethanol. This is known as arec. Very, very important concept. For ethanol, we do some test. What are the tests? The number one, Kozelka and Heine test. Very important, Kozelka and Heine test. The second is Kevet test, Kuwet test. It's known as Kuwet test. But the most specific test, most specific test is gas chromatography. It is gas chromatography is the most specific test for ethanol intoxication and my dear friend for ethanol we use a formula which is known as widmark formula what is widmark formula a is equal to pcr a is equal to pcr a is alcohol weight, yes my dear friend, P is body weight, body weight, C is concentration of alcohol and R is a constant, R is a constant. The value of R in female, it's a 0 0.55 and value of R in male is 0 0.68. This is known as Widmark formula. So if anything is given, we can detect the other things by Widmark formula. My dear friend, at what blood concentration, at what percentage of the blood concentration of ethanol what are the important concepts? Percentage concentration of ethanol. Ethanol. Number one. The 30 milligram percentage of the blood. It is my dear friend, the driving limit in India. Driving limit in India is 30 milligram percentage. It is not given in the IPC. It is MACT Act. Motor Accidental Act 185 clause 30 milligram percentage. At what concentration you feel nystagmus? Nystagmus. Nystagmus is eye blinking. It is at 80 milligram percentage. 
and at what concentration you feel motor incoordination at what concentration you feel motor incoordination that at 150 milligram percentage and at what concentration there is a coma and death at 400 milligram percentage that can lead coma and death that's a very very important coma and death there are three stages number one number two number three number one is a stage of excitement stage of the excitement number two is state of in coordination and number three the stage of coma stage of coma here you are excited in coordination i already told you generally it start at 150 milligram percentage so 150 milligram percentage there is a stage of in coordination excitement you are feeling excited at 80 milligram percentage there is a nystagmus you are feeling very good that's a stage of excitement the pupil is dilated this is stage of incoordination and this is stage of coma i told you at 400 million in stage of coma the pupil is constricted pupil is constricted and there is a sign which is known as mckeown sign mckeown sign after pinching the pupil is dilated this is known as mckeown sign so this is known as mckeown sign you can get this question in your exam this is seen in stages of coma in coordination and excitement so these are three stages of alcohol and generally your reaction time is change in stages of excitement your reaction time is hampered that is when the alcohol concentration is 50 mg percentage reaction time is change nystagmus already told you in coordination at 150 to 200 mg percentage and mckeown sign is specifically seen at 300 mg percentage 300 mg percentage so there are three stages of alcohol intoxication now my dear friends very very important concept comes in exam no specific antidote for alcohol no specific antidote friends acute alcohol withdrawal acute alcohol withdrawal can lead a finding which is known as delirium tremens delirium tremens it is seen after acute alcohol withdrawal in two to three days in two to three days you can remember di 2 t3 in delirium tremens if you commit crime you are not responsible according to 84 ipc another very important concept so this is a very important finding of acute alcohol withdrawal acute alcohol withdrawal the tremor is the most common then it can be delirium tremens very important finding now sir no specific antidote for alcohol as i told you no specific antidote for alcohol we can go for detoxifying agent detoxifying agent like uh, benzodiazepine lorazepam or oxazepam these are given now in alcohol there may be a 
vitamin B1 deficiency that can lead vernicase encephalopathy. Vernicase encephalopathy. And what is seen in vernicase encephalopathy? Goa. What is Goa? This is global confusion of thalmoplegia. and ataxia and ataxia this is known as vernicase encephalopathy and that's why i told you the vitamin b1 supplementation vitamin b1 supplementation is a very important supplementation which is given in alcohol in coma cocktail which is given in alcohol intoxication in coma cocktail another very very potential word so this is all about ethanol now i'll come to the methanol methanol the methanol fatal dose is almost 80 to 120 ml and methanol in your body methanol in your body is metabolized by two enzyme the number one alcohol dehydrogenase then aldehyde dehydrogenase so by this it is forming formaldehyde formaldehyde and formic acid formaldehyde and formic acid friends methanol it is used in adulterated liquor adulterated liquor and in adulterated liquid liquor it can cause death and my dear friend this is a very important mcq Hooch tragedy. Sometimes a question comes, the Hooch tragedy is because of methanol intoxication. Adulterated liquor. Now, my dear friends, methanol, the earliest symptom is abdominal cramps. What are the symptoms of methanol intoxication? The abdominal cramps. Then it can lead the metabolic acidosis. Then my dear friend, very, very important word. It causes optic neuritis. Optic neuritis attacking on the retina. This will cause snow field vision. A very, very potential MCQ. This will cause the snow field vision. Snow filled vision. Now, my dear friend, what is the treatment of choice for this? What is the treatment of choice for this? The treatment of choice for this is ethanol, a competitive inhibitor of methanol. That's ethanol. The second is fomipazole. The second is for me personal. And in place of treatment of choice, you can write down the drug of choice. Because treatment of choice, you have to pick hemodialysis. The treatment of choice, you have to pick hemodialysis. So if you get a question, the treatment of choice, it's hemodialysis. But otherwise, the drug of choice, ethanol, antidote, a competitive inhibitor. The second is for me personal. My dear friend, for me personal inhibits alcohol dehydrogenase yes alcohol dehydrogenase then folinic acid folinic acid decreases the formation of formic acid decreases the formation of formic acid so these are the question you can get in your exam a very very important <laughs>